This is assignment GA5 for num question number one is confrontation. A 17 year old female who is four months pregnant comes to your agency stating that she wants to keep the baby. She, she is excited about becoming a parent. During her session, she casually mentions that she is drinking alcohol and smoking marijuana. She reports that she feels good most of the time, but has recently been experiencing low energy and a loss of appetite. I'm concerned about your baby's health due to you drinking alcohol and smoking marijuana. Are you truly ready for the responsibility of motherhood and all that it entails? Because you should be seriously questioning yourself with the decisions you're making right now. Question number two, information giving response. A 37 year old male talking to a hotline worker about his marriage. I think my wife is having an affair. She hasn't said it in so many words, but I can just tell. She's not home much, and when she is, she seems miles away. She is beautiful, and any guy would love to have her. I don't know how to ask her or even if I want to know. We've been married for seven years. Sometimes, sometimes have been better than others. This time, I am sure she is cheating on me. There are many scenarios this could be. Not all of them being an affair. Have you thought about sitting down with your wife and having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with her? Question three, interpretive response. A 15-year-old girl who has always excelled in her academic classes recently has refused to answer questions during class and no longer completes her homework assignments. She appears uninterested in any school activity and states, I'm tired of sticking out. I hate people thinking that I'm the school brain. I get the sense that you don't like being the center of attention because it ostracizes you from your peers. Question four, summarization. A 17 year old male talking to the school social worker. He is considering dropping out of school. Social worker, I know this is a really big decision for you, whether or not to stay in school. Client, it's just those teachers, the homework and the tests. It's pretty much come to a conclusion that school's got nothing to do with the real world. I'm sitting here learning about geography, snow glaciers, and what does that have to do with life outside, with life with the outside world? I think I've had enough. It's a conformity and structure and all the, and all the rules. I'm thinking about quitting. A friend of mine quit. He's not employed right now, but he's doing okay. Not that I want to be a brain surgeon or anything. I just want to get a good job and pay my bills and to live my own social worker. What would you do if you quit school? I'd get a job. I don't, I don't know. Maybe just hang out for a while. I could use a breather. Social worker. A breather? What else is going on in your life right now? Client. The regular stuff. My parents yelling at me. My failing grades. You know, that kind of stuff. I understand that you feel overwhelmed in both your home and school life. However, as you can see by your friend dropping out, that hasn't been the way to go either. What is it that you and I can do together to rectify your feelings towards staying in school?